make some colloidal silver today. What you're going to need is distilled water, must be distilled, not spring water, otherwise you'll have minerals in it and that'll react with your silver. And then we have two silver leads, and these are uh, very pure silver, they're 99.99% silver, so make sure you get a pure leads. You'll need some wires with gator clips. You need two of them, one for your positive, one for your negative, and batteries. Uh, you only really need three batteries. These are starting to get old, so I just added on some more, and then the more batteries you put on, the faster it goes. So it's a, just an electrolysis reaction. And so you need uh, you fill a mason jar all the way up with your distilled water. We've gave it a rinse with the distilled water first. Make sure it doesn't have any minerals left in it, very little. And then all you need to do is place your leads in the water so they're not touching each other. Otherwise, you'll spark an arc and then it won't do the electrolysis. So you hook up black to one, red to the other, whatever color you're using. Try to get them to where the leads are an inch to so apart on the bottom, and then hook them the other end of your wires onto your batteries. and they'll move around on you when you have to reposition them after you get the wires hooked on. So that they are close to each other but not touching. About an inch apart is fine. Okay. And that'll take about 45 minutes and you'll start to see um, a mist come off of one lead and then uh, and it'll start getting black and then the other lead will start getting fuzzy. And that'll be about it. About 30 minutes into it and you can start to see on the uh, right lead it's starting to get dark and fuzzy and the left lead is starting to get a little bit dark and oxidized looking. And so uh, this is about part way and you may not be able to see it but I can see a little bit of mist between the two and that's the silver particles going between on the electrolysis. But yeah, so it's working. We've got probably another 15 to 30 minutes and this will be ready. You can, when the uh, right lead is really fuzzy and you can start to see a little bit more tint to the water. Okay, so we're a little about it. About just over an hour and we've got much more mist in our uh, one elect uh, electrode solar elect lead is really getting darker and got really a lot of fuzz on the other one so we're just going to try to pull that out without too much fuzz coming off and we'll wipe that and you can clean these with a scotch pad and some more distilled water and they'll be ready to go for next time this one's really dark. It's got more of the oxidation on it, and you can see it comes off pretty good with just a paper towel. And then there'll still be some silver floating around, so what you can do for that is. Um, I'm hooking on the battery. Do you want to restart now? So, if you want to get rid of the silver particles, what, you, what we like to do is uh, take a just a coffee filter in the funnel, give it a rinse with some distilled water and then pour that into another mason jar and this one we're going to store it in so colloidal silver is reactive with light it'll oxidize faster with light so uh, wrap it with some aluminum foil so and store it in a dark cupboard and it'll last a little longer for you before it starts oxidizing it'll turn a, going up a golden brown color to a dark gray And that's it. Have fun.